In this video, we will see the impact of PCT free in terms of packing rows tightly. It is recommended that we pack as many rows as possible within a block so that when we want to fetch rows, the number of blocks to read is reduced. For example, if I have 1000 rows in a table, how many rows will sit in a block will depend on two factors. Number one, how much of free space we want to reserve whenever a row is inserted to accommodate future updates and two, the size of the row itself. Let's take an example that a row occupies one kilobyte of space and the block size is 8 KB. If I have an 8 KB block size and I have set PCT free to be 50, wherein I'm going to reserve 50% of the space for future updates, then in a given block, I'll be able to insert only four rows because when I insert four rows, 50% of the block is going to be occupied and the remaining 50% is left free for these rows to be updated. On the other hand, let's say we have PCT free to be zero. Then the same 8KB block will now have eight rows inserted. Now, which is right? Well, it depends whether your rows are going to be updated or your rows are not going to be updated. Again, 50 is just an example I've given. Depending on how much of free space you need for a row to be updated later, you accommodate free space accordingly. Now, given that I have four rows per block in a 50% PCT free sized segment and eight rows per block in a 0% as PCT free, if I have a thousand rows on this table, then at four rows per block, I will need 250 blocks to store these 1000 rows. At 8 rows per block, it is sufficient to keep 125 blocks to keep all this data. Now, IO, when I need to read this data, is going to differ. The same table with 50% packed rows, I will have to do 250 blocks as IO, whereas with 0% PCT free, it is sufficient to read it with 125 block as IO. Not only am I affecting my IO, let's look at the buffer cache. The buffer cache is organized in the form of blocks. To read these blocks, I need 250 buffers, whereas to read these blocks, I need only 125 buffers. Now the difference is, I will be wasting my memory if I am not going to update these rows at all in the future by reserving 50% of space, then I will be doing more IO. I will be keeping empty space of 50% in the memory and I will complain that my HGA is small. My buffer cache is insufficient. Remember, this is an example of a tennis ball, whereas this is an example of a ping pong ball. So it's very important you decide how you size your PCT free and pack your rows. I also have a demo to showcase the same example. We shall create two tables and see what happens. The first table has PCT free 50. We will gather statistics for the same. And then we will create the second table where PCT free is zero and we will gather statistics for the same. Both tables have the same data, but let's see what's the impact on the data that is stored and the number of blocks. As you can see here, the number of blocks used is much larger. PCT free is visible and the average row length in both the tables are the same. 